What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and oh man, I am back from E3 and finally well rested. Uh, it's such a crazy thing to go from the East Coast to the West Coast back to the East Coast, but I'm managing. And let me tell you, E3 was phenomenal. I got to hang out for an entire week with the legends of LEGO Gaming, all the folks from WB Games. TT Games and Marvel Comics were fantastic. That's right, I got to hang out with Arthur Parsons, Phil Ring, even got to meet Bill Roseman and Agent M himself, Ryan Panagos. Uh, it was crazy, man, and I got to play LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, the demo, and all I can say is do not worry. This game is going to be amazing. And I am here to put your fears to rest, all right? A lot of people have been noticing the absence of the first family, the Fantastic Four, and the X-Men. And as the title suggests, no X-Men, no Fantastic Four, no problem. Do not worry. There is going to be so much to do in this game, and you are going to love it. It is being remade, like, it's, it's I think it's all new engine. Everything about it is new. The visuals are going to be phenomenal. Everything is going to be fantastic. We're just going to have to wait another game before we get into the X-verse, okay? So here's the thing. A lot of people are frustrated and they're saying, Oh, no X-Men, I'm not going to buy the game. And I was one of those people once. No, I was actually never one of those people. I was always going to buy the game. But look, you guys that follow my channel know I love Deadpool. I made my April Fool's Day joke uh, for... Lego, the next Lego game is Lego Deadpool. I wanted a game full of Deadpool verse characters, like from every walk of life. I even wanted the dead presidents, okay? So I clearly am affected by this. I spent a lot of time in Lego Marvel Avengers saying, well, Deadpool's an Avenger. Why can't Deadpool be in the game? He's an Avenger. Deadpool's an Avenger. And it's clear this is a Marvel Comics thing. Um, they are choosing to devalue the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. That's something that they decided to do, and, you know, it is what it is. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, they just put characters in Future Fight. Well, I agree. That does send a very uh, conflicting message. Uh, the timing of it must be awful for TT Games. And um, I think I, I didn't... I, look, I wanted to leave Arthur and Phil alone about those things because... Uh, I, here I am having access to these guys for a couple days, and they could not have been more accommodating and gracious, and uh, they, they listened to my jokes about wanting Darkhawk in the game, and, you know, uh, I didn't want to, like, be that guy that was bothering them, like, ten times a day, asking about, oh, is this minor thing going to be in the game, you know? I just wanted to be a dude that was hanging out with some dudes enjoying their game you know so but one thing that i did do is you know i kind of analyzed everything that i heard and saw uh just you know naturally like anybody else and there were so many people coming in and out of the the booth to interact with people so things came up and the one thing i don't honestly remember exactly who the conversation was with it might not have even been either one of them but at some point the x-men came up and i my point that I made was, I just wish that Marvel wasn't sending such a conflicting message. The timing of adding the, the X-Men to Future Fight really hurts TT Games because this is not their fault. It's not their fault that Marvel said no. It's also not Fox's fault because Fox has no say in this whatsoever, okay? This is 100% a Marvel Comics decision, and they're doing it to Marvel vs. Capcom as well. And it is what it is, okay? They have spent, there's not even a Fantastic Four comic, and up until the last couple, like, month or two, there really haven't been many X-Men comics. They took all the characters out. Yes, they've, they've tried to push the Inhumans, and the only way that you can really do anything to affect whether or not X-Men are in future games is to talk to Marvel. Yelling at TT isn't going to solve anything, because they have no say. I mean, they can say, hey, can we have Wolverine in this game? Marvel says no, and that's that. Uh, could they push harder? Maybe. I don't know. But they have business relationships. They have to, to work with Marvel all the time. So there are some battles that aren't worth it. 
and they've chosen to focus on the cosmic universe and this time traveling thing. So it's going to work and it's going to be fun. You're going to have tons of Spider-Men. You're going to have tons of, you know, characters that haven't been in this game. And you know what the best part is? We're starting to trend towards getting the X-Men back. And I think Marvel is starting to realize, oh man, we might need to do something here. So I think by the time the next Lego Marvel game comes out, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, it's going to be Rise of the X-Men, baby. That's right. We're going to have tons of X-Men and maybe Fantastic Four. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I'm not saying I know anything, but that's the direction that we're going to head. You're probably going to end up getting a game full of X-Men characters out of this. So all I can say is do not worry. A lot of people have been looking at an interview that Arthur did with IGN, and I think it was Max Scoville um, was the host, and trying to analyze the fact that he said don't worry uh, when Max asked him, well, I'm worried about the X-Men. Uh, that wasn't a, a sign of, hey, maybe the X-Men are going to be in this. He was basically saying, don't worry, this there, this is going to be a great game. So there's nothing to worry about, guys. I want to play as my favorite characters as much as anybody else. That is why I openly campaigned for Darkhawk. That is why I openly campaigned for Rich Rider as Nova. Um, but there's still going to be a million characters you love in this game. And you still have the original Lego Marvel superheroes if you want to play as some X-Men. And, you know, then there is the modding community if you get the PC version of the game. So, the long story short is, relax, okay? Enjoy the game for what we're going to get. And, you know, it's up to you whether or not you buy it. I'm, I'm just saying that if you love Lego games, don't not buy the game because a couple of characters aren't in it. A game that's going to have probably 250 or more characters in it. I love Lego games, and a lot of people ask me, what is my favorite Lego game? And I always answer Lego Marvel Avengers would be if it had the Lego Marvel Superheroes character list. And the games just keep getting better and better and better. And I have such high hopes for this game, especially after playing the demo myself. Um, playing as the Guardians of the Galaxy was phenomenal. The attention to detail is amazing. Star-Lord, uh, his special move where he throws on the headphones and dances while he shoots people is incredible. You guys are going to love this game. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, uh, the TT guys are my new homeboys. Like, that will never be me. I'm always going to be critical when crit it's, it's time to be critical. And right now is not the time to be critical. If you love LEGO games, if you love TT games, we need to just let everybody know, hey man, it's cool. Just relax, you know, hang in for the ride and enjoy what's going to be, in my opinion, the best LEGO game ever made. Uh, I am so excited for this game, having been around it for a week, having watched people walk up and play the game like over and over and over again all week, feeling like I was a part of it. Like, I don't think I'm making this video because I'm still on a high from all of that. Uh, I'm making this video because I really believe, based on what I've seen, and just the passion and the joy that all the folks from TT Games that were there had uh, in talking about the game. Um, and just, like, just knowing how much I love these games. This game is going to be great. Don't worry about the X-Men. Don't worry about the Fantastic Four. You know, it's not the end of the world. Let's just hope that Marvel Comics can sort out their things with Fox between now and the next game. And let's focus on hopefully getting, you know, all of this, uh, this great game out of the way here. And uh, November 14th can't come soon enough. And the one thing that I can say that, you know, I don't know anything about DLC, but maybe if you keep pressuring Marvel Comics and not TT games, maybe we get some DLC. As a worst case scenario, think about that free thank you Spider-Man DLC we got last year. You know, maybe we get a, a small character pack with a Wolverine and a Cyclops and a couple characters like that, especially since Cyclops is in Champions. Um, but I don't know, man. I would just say hang tight, enjoy the ride. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is going to be amazing. So buy it, enjoy it, love it. Don't worry about the X-Men. Don't worry about the Fantastic Four. See ya.